Hi everyone, this is Melissa, artist in residence at Imagine, and today I'm going to be sharing with you a Halloween card I made using a few products from So Susie Stamps, along with my favorite Imagine Versifying Claire inks today. So I'm starting by stamping this cute little ghost that I got from So Susie, and I am going to um, just fussy cut that out and set that mask to the side, and you'll see why in a little bit. But basically, I had to think about how I was going to put this card together and um, have the trees the color that I wanted, and I wanted this little ghost um, kind of sneaking out from the side of the tree. And it was a little bit more complicated. It took me a few times to actually do this, but in the video, I show you exactly what I did. So I stamped over this stencil with my Memento Tuxedo Black, and then I masked the ghost off so that I can actually ink the background. Now, I did stamp onto my Bristol Smooth uh, cardstock, and this is a four and a quarter by five and a half sheet. And then I'm taking a large sponge dauber and simply mushing that color right over the stencil. And that first color was Purple Delight, um, Versafine Claire. And now I'm using Bluebell, Versafine Claire. And finally, I will finish with Medieval Blue, Versafine Claire. And I switched to a small dauber um, for the top portion just because I already had a um, small dauber with the Medieval Blue color. Um, I'm being careful not to move the stencil um, where those little fine branches are. And then I'm going back with um, my bluebell and kind of blending that medieval blue back into it as well as the purple delight. Now before I remove the mask and the stencil, I want to add some stars to my sky. So I get a little bit of gesso or you could use white acrylic paint. I water it down and then I simply flick my paintbrush over the stencil and the little ghost um, so that I get a beautiful starry night. And then I will allow this to dry and then I'll remove the stencil and the mask and that's what you're gonna see next. So when I pull the uh, stencil off and the mask off, the ghost is gonna be um, the background color as well as the um, trees are gonna be the background color. So what I really want to do once I remove that uh, stencil is define the ghost from the trees. So I'm gonna take my alcohol markers and simply color up this ghost. And remember that I stamped him in my Memento Tuxedo Black ink, so it's very safe. However, Versafine Clear does not work with um, Versafine Clear does not work with your alcohol markers. Um, so I, when I color the trees, I do a very small, thin shadow on the trees, making sure to stay away from the Versafine Clear that I inked the background with. So now I'm going to take another stamp from So Susie, and these are these little black bats, and I'm going to stamp those into the night sky using my Versafine Claire. And again, I'm going to lay down the stencil so that I don't stamp them over the trees. Now I want to do another stamping of the bats, but I don't want that large bat, so I mask it off, and then I wipe off any excess ink from the previous stamping and go ahead and again stamp that right over my stencil um, so that I get just the tiny bats so they look like they're um, in the background of the scene. So once I have that finished, I've pretty much finished the base of my card, but I decide I want to add this cute little pumpkin that, that I also got from So Susie, and I'm going to stamp that in my Memento ink and then color that up with some of my favorite um, orange alcohol markers. Now I'm taking a piece of vellum and putting my sentiment from So Susie into my uh, Misty and adding some more Versafine Claire and stamping right on vellum. Now Versafine Claire does not dry easily on vellum. It takes a very, very long time. So instead of leaving it that way, I am going to stamp it and then add my clear embossing powder from um, Imagine and go ahead and heat emboss that. And you see I get a very pretty um, stamped image with the Versafine Claire. Um, however, because it takes so long to dry, I'm going to go ahead and add some clear embossing powder and it looks gorgeous. And then I did this so that you could still see the bats and trees in the background of my um, card. Now I would hear that will adhere that to some black cardstock. I trimmed off the edges a little bit and then we'll adhere that black cardstock right to my card base. I always like to have white card bases so that I can write on the inside without having to worry. Next, I take my on point glue and I'm going to glue down that vellum and I use the trees as a place to put my glue so that it doesn't show through the vellum. 
and this works quite well actually. So I push that down and then I do add some weight on top of that vellum so it doesn't curl. I put some foam dots on my pumpkin and pump that, um, lift that pumpkin off of the background um, so that it pops out at you and I have my finished card. I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial using VersaFine Claire inks to create a beautiful background and sky for this Halloween card. Make sure to join us again at Imagine for more fun projects and check out that description box for all the products I used in today's video.